Over this past weekend, Russia's latest lunar lander, the Luna 25, crashed into the surface of the moon while attempting to land, effectively ending what some have called a mini space race between Russia and India, as they both rushed to get lunar landers to the moon's south pole. But what you might not know is that this isn't the first time one of these Luna landers has lost a space race for Russia or the Soviet Union. Because back in 1969, while Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were walking on the moon, the Soviets were attempting to land their Luna 15 lunar lander just a few hundred miles away. It ended in the very same way as Luna 25. Now, most of you already know that the space race really kicked off back in 1957 with the Soviet launch of Sputnik 1, which, among other things, proved to the United States that the Soviet Union could launch a missile from their own territory and have it make landfall pretty much anywhere in the world. So, the United States, with a bit of help from Operation Paperclip and just gobs and gobs of money, went after trying to match and then exceed Soviet space capabilities, which they would eventually do and ultimately win the space race in 1969 with Apollo 11. Now, it is important to understand that the Soviet Union had secured a dominant lead in the space race. They had some incredible accomplishments, including putting the first body into orbit, the first animal, the first man. They landed landers on Venus that took some incredible pictures. But by the mid-1960s, it was evident that the Soviet space program was falling behind. In fact, by 1967, famed cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin even tried to replace his best friend, cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov, in the Soyuz 1 mission because they were both sure the mission would fail and the cosmonaut on board would die. They ultimately turned out to be right, and while Gagarin wasn't on board, Komarov could be heard cursing out the Soviet government as he burned up on re-entry. By 1969, it was all but evident that the Soviets' N1 moon rocket wouldn't be taking cosmonauts to the lunar surface anytime soon. But the Soviet Union also knew that there was a pretty good chance Apollo 11's crew would die in their efforts to get there as well. So they wanted to capitalize on that potential tragedy by launching their own moon mission. Since they couldn't get cosmonauts there, they decided to settle for a lunar lander. This lander was dubbed Luna 15. Now, the Soviet Union at the time made a habit of not announcing space launches until well after the fact so that they could deny the existence of any failures. So entirely in secret, the Luna 15 lander arrived in orbit around the moon three days before Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong would get there. Now, the Luna 15 mission wasn't that different than Apollo 11's. The plan was for this lander to gather up some moon rocks and dust and launch it back to Earth for further study. And the Soviet plan was basically like this. If the Apollo 11 mission were to end in tragedy, the Soviet Union could then announce that their Luna 15 mission, which was taking place at the exact same time just a few hundred miles away, was a rousing success. Now, this would really deflate the sails of NASA, who were trying to secure a dominant victory in the space race and really put the Soviet Union back on top. But on July 20th of 1969, while Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were strolling around the moon and planting their flag, the Soviet Union sent the command to Luna 15 to begin descent and landing procedures, which really shocked British astronomers who were listening in that had no idea there was a Soviet lander in orbit. However, as Luna 15 was descending, the same thing happened to it, that happened this weekend to Luna 25. They lost contact with it, and it went hurtling into the surface of the moon, just about 350 miles away from where Neil Armstrong stood. But if you find yourself wondering why you've never heard of this before, it's probably because the Soviet Union worked very hard to keep Luna 15's failure a closely guarded secret. There were, of course, rumors going around, thanks in no small part to British astronomers overhearing the signals being transmitted to the lander, but Apollo 11 was very big news that dominated the news cycle for weeks after. And the truth is, the world didn't really learn the truth about Luna 15 until the collapse of the Soviet Union when the documents were finally released. <laughs> 